everyone, so March is here and it's time to do the February favorites. So yeah, I hope you enjoy. Let's get started. So I'm gonna start with two new favorites, things that I kind of recently bought and tried and I loved in February. So the first is this Smoothing and Brightening Concealer by Sephora. I got this on sale, it was like 70% off and I got it for like three something instead of like 11 or 12 euros. I have been absolutely loving this. This is basically like a white concealer, so yeah, it looks white, it is white. And it comes in a little brush like this, um, so you twist it, you get the product out, and I have been using this so, so much. I use it to highlight because it doesn't really cover up anything. I mean, I don't think it really is for coverage, it's just again to brighten up your eyes. But I also just use it on any other high points on my face that I want to highlight. I've been just using this so, so much in February, and I think I'm running out of this. If this is Sephora and I have it on sale, definitely give it a check, try it, because it's actually really nice. The other kind of new, it's not really new, but uh, it's the Radiant Eyeshadow Base. Now, I think this you can only find this in Greece, so I'm sorry for my non-Greek viewers. This is a clear eyeshadow base, it's very affordable, like 8 something euros. And I just, I've been loving it. It comes in a little jar like this, it's clear, um, and it's awesome. I used to have it when I was 16, and I started using it again, and I love it. It really holds my eyeshadows for so long. Uh, even the more high-end ones, it does a really good job with them. We have some other kind of makeup products that I rediscovered, not really, but yeah. The first is the Essence All About Matte, and I actually went back to went back to this uh, because I tried a new primer and I didn't like it and I went back to this and I just really like it and I think what I like the most about this is its price because it's so affordable so even if I like run out of it um, really fast it doesn't like I don't have to spend a whole lot of money to get it again it's a good primer very inexpensive that's why it's in my favorites again the next is a favorite that um, I actually hadn't used for a while and it's the Essence Brow Designer it's a, an eyebrow pencil that comes with a little brush on the top in what? It's brown. It's a dark brown basically. And I have been growing my eyebrows and I did an eyebrow routine. If you want to see that, I'll have it down below. And my eyebrows have finally... The phone is ringing. So I have been growing my eyebrows for a while now and I finally have them in a shape that I like. I was watching like past videos and my eyebrows were non-existent, they were just like a line, and now they're finally full. There are days that I just don't want to do a whole lot on my eyebrows, I just want to fill them in quickly and just go. And this has been my go-to product for that. It's actually the only eyebrow pencil I have, but I really like it. Um, it suits my skin, my, my color and everything, my hair color. Um, it's a nice dark brown, and it's kind of more of a waxy type pencil, so it kind of stays on for a little longer. It's not that long lasting, but um, I really like it. Next is a lipstick and I stopped using it for a while and then I kind of went back to it in February and I was wearing it a lot. Um, and it's from Essence again. I have a lot of from Essence. No, I don't. It's just three products. But it's one of their long lasting lipsticks. I've talked about them so many times before and it's in Barely There. I had this in my um, October favorites, I think. I went back to it and I've been absolutely loving this because like spring is slowly creeping on us and you know the brighter colors are going to be in trend. I kind of want to um, stay in the winter as much as I can and I do that with dark lipsticks. So it's just a beautiful darker nude. I love it. I was wearing it so so much and yeah great color. Next is a tool that I'm just using so so much and I think I used it a whole lot in February and it's uh, this makeup sponge by H&M. I also had this in other favorites but uh, I was wearing, I just, what? <laughs> I use it so much in February. I use it for my foundation now and for my concealer. I use it for everything. It's better when it's wet because uh, if you use it dry and you go and uh, blend your foundation it's actually going to kind of absorb a little bit of it so you're not going to get as much foundation. Um, so it's better to use it uh, wet, uh, you just spray with a little bit of water and you're ready. It's inexpensive, I think it's like 3 euros, so it is awesome and yeah, I definitely recommend it. So that is all the makeup products and I have one skincare beauty product and it's a body butter. It is by Le Petit Marseille. Um it's this body butter with karate butter and argan oil and um, almond extract or something. It is amazing. I've been wearing it so, so much. It smells so good. When I first smelled it, it didn't smell like anything, just like plain cream. But then as you get 
like more deep. Um, it smells more like a uh, nice kind of like a little bit of like cocoa butter, very moisturizing and it also just um, leaves a nice scent to the skin without being too overpowering, but it's still like last. So that is all the products I have for February favorites. Uh, a few of these you have seen before, but again, I used all of these so much in February, so yeah. And then as far as um, other stuff, I don't really think I have a food favorite. Oh, I do. I have plums. Plums have been my absolute food favorite. I've been eating so much plum. They've just been amazing. I've been adding them to uh, pancakes, to my oatmeal. I've uh, been eating them just like that for like a snack. They're just amazing and I love them. And then for music, uh, the artist that I've been listening to nonstop in February is George Ezra. I have been loving him. He is incredible. I will leave um, some of his music down below. He's awesome. You will like when you hear his voice, you will not be able to really match to the face because they just don't match. He is like 20 something, 21, 22, and his voice sounds so old. It's just so great. It's so unique. I have to say, it's very unique, and I just love him. If you haven't heard of him, definitely check him out. And, yeah. and those are all the favorites for this month. I uh, don't have a lot, but I thought I would share with you anyway. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And yeah, thank you for watching. And I will see you all in the next video.